Hi guys, today I want to take a look at how to ins download and install Trimble Business Center patch 5.70.1. When you open <coughs> Trimble Business Center, on the right hand side you see uh, it's Trimble Business Center version 5.70.1 now available. This came out at July 25th, a couple of weeks back. And let's see if we can quickly update it. I have opened the update checker and right here it is Trimble Business Center patch 5.7. Select this install to the latest patch Trimble Business Center which includes several new features and fixes a number of known issues. For more information see TBC start page news which includes the links to TBC 5.70.1 MI file. Let's hit up install. You don't have to log into the Trimble website. It's downloading directly from within the software itself. And in the meantime, we can definitely take a look at the release notes over here. Windows installer is preparing and I have opened readme file here for Trimble Business Center 5.70.1. And we're gonna take a look at it here. Oh, preparing install, it's almost done. So let's see what happens here next. Oh, welcome to the install shield, the computing space requirements, usual. Let's wait until it, since it's a patch, I assume it's gonna be quick and easy. Just a note here until we wait, your warranty date has to be June 1. 2022 or later to be able to update to this 5.70.1 and the new features the number one new feature is a snap mode for vector pdf nodes when you enable node snapping in an imported vector pdf you can now turn the function on and off with the other running snap modes by checking vector PDF nodes box in the running snap mode option dialog, which is pretty good because this, as far as I understand, you would be probably able to snap to the PDF at any time, which is great for digitizing, for example, for takeoff purposes. Okay, let's see, this is still computing. Okay, the second the new feature is for mobile mapping view synchronization when you rotate the panoramic view tbc synchronizes the 3d view with the panoramic view orientation position zoom level and field of view are kept rotate and zoom in and out each planner view and then the next one for mobile mapping is region of interest you can now use the escape button to escape from picking when defining the length width and step values those would be the two new features still waiting for this guy and then there is lots of fixed bugs under survey when you create a local site in tbc save it to coordinate system database vertical adjustment pane was displaying correct slope distances but the values were mislabeled as a ppm parcels imported from land xml files may not have included parcel names LAS files imported into ArcGIS Pro from TBC were sometimes not positioned in the correct geographic location. They fixed an export there. Under construction, takeoff report with AOIs that include over excavation areas, calculate the entire ISO patch volume quantities. When one of the AOI did not have the over excavation within its boundary, the surface information report did not include any values. You could not import the key file and import message was shown on the data no data was imported here we got we can click update for now and we are about five minutes into this installation and ooh, look at this is taking uh, quite a bit of spin let's see what's gonna happen i would assume it would uh, it might ask us to close the business center we let's wait Oh, there we go. There is a Trimble prompt. I hit yes. It was asking me if I want TBC to make changes to the computer. In the meantime, we can look at the bug fixes for construction. Oh, we already started that. Yeah, when using a shrink wrap elevation from crossing or city lines were not honored in the created line. 
if you encounter the problem when digitizing cross section associated with station equation using a column operator in the format 1795 plus 96.75 column 3 and there was an error the digitized cross section command would either not open or throw an error message lots of digitizing cross section the earthwork report was missing multiple areas and volume rows elevation data was not being extracted from line stream when using the endpoint snap uh, CAD objects would not snap to other objects when the turn on CAD grips option was enabled the area line count report did not include the layer details work order data did not display the work order viewer in the work order viewer there was a couple of errors if you repeatedly click on previously imported file name the import common pane with closed comment after import box check you move the pipe to a different run and then selected uh, the entry run to delete it you close the digitized cross section dialog by clicking x instead of cancel and you hover the cursor over cat's blinds those were few where you got an exception error and there is a few more we're about halfway there there's few more mapping uh, bug fixes when working with the region of interest the step value did not change correctly when tabbing out of the field scan visibility in the run view incorrectly apply the cursor view filter camera for calibration values did not have correct sign when exported from existing project the trajectory height was not correct from the local beginning datum and camera makers in the slide view did not react to move when you clicked on them those were a few quite a bit of uh, improvements you can't even really call it a patch because there are a few new features I'm excited about the vector PDF and as we can see the installation after eight minutes it's three quarters done let's see okay obviously it's asking us to close the business center let's close it and continue and hope this will go quick okay boom there it is whole bunch of other updates for the help help in french german japanese and spanish and also trimble business center help in english 5.70.1 so let's see where are we now okay we are getting there real quick i'm gonna take this minute uh, don't forget to subscribe and i really appreciate it uh, hit our community page which has been on here in, pa in past few days i'm gonna start playing with it uh, coming weeks okay install traceville and yeah we can finish we have the new icon which moved back on the new icon moved back and let's start the business center as you can see the start page did not reflect the new version it's still 5.70 which is okay all in all the installation took us about nine minutes uh, nine to ten minutes now let's see what we can do okay business center started i'm just gonna go to support and hit about to confirm that it's a 5.70.1 and this will support and about and yeah it doesn't even reflect it here i would assume that it is 5.71 i have hit the release notes here and as you can see 5.701 readme if you click on view it will open the readme file which i read through during our installation i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time